What's up guys, it's Ray, and welcome back to another Do's and Don'ts video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a really easy technique to shaping a nose. And once you get this technique down, you'll be able to customize it into any nose shape. I'm also going to briefly go over techniques that don't necessarily work when trying to achieve a realistic nose. And I'm also briefly going to go over highlight and shadow placement for your nose. All right, so let's just start. So starting off with the basic number two pencil, I'm going to start off with the do side. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is draw a circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect because Lord knows mine are the opposite of perfect. All right, so now that we got the bulb done, I'm gonna start working on the bridge of the nose. And how I'm doing that is drawing two upward lines that slightly curve into each other. I wanna try to avoid making them perfectly straight. All right, so now that we have your uh, <laughs> phallic looking image, we're gonna start on the other side, which is the don'ts. And I'm doing the exact same thing, um, just have like a perfect circle, well, perfect in quotation circle. And the only difference is, is that I'm going to draw straight perfect lines from the bulb. Oh God, that looks even more phallic. Whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. But anyway, do you see how the don't side is perfectly parallel on the nose bridge while the do side has like that inward curve? That's basically just to start implying the eyebrow bone, which is gonna be coming later if you're doing a whole portrait. All right, so measuring out the nostrils is a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. So, all right, so starting off on the first third of the bulb, you're going to want to draw a small straight line right across. Next, you're going to want to draw a very curved line right underneath that. And what this is going to do is basically determine the measurements of your nostrils. And people, when I say small, I mean small. Here I am erasing it. So the next step will be to connect both of those lines together. And this is creating the outline for the nostril. All right, so now we are going to connect the bottom tip of the nose, the bottom of the circle, to the line we just created. This next step, you guys, is totally optional, and that is to add a little cartilage to the nose. And how I'm doing that is just by adding like a little droop at the bottom of the bulb. But again, this is purely optional because some people have it, some people don't. And that's the good thing about this nose measuring technique is that you can customize it to every single person's nose. All right, so on to the don't side. And basically, what I'm going to do is create very unproportional nostrils and that's something you really want to watch out for is because you can have the most perfect shading but if it's not proportional and it just kind of messes everything up <gasps> oh my god you guys i'll be right back all right, so moving on, I'm just going to go ahead and start finishing off the nostrils, and I'm making them as big as the bulb itself. And my poor pencil, it looks so bald. <laughs> so moving on to the next step, I'm getting my Faber-Castell eraser pencil, and yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's literally a pencil, but instead of lead, it's an eraser, and it's awesome. I will link down below where you can get it. I got mine at a craft store, but you can get it online. So basically all I'm doing is erasing every single line that we just made inside the nose and a little bit on the nostrils. One thing to note is that I am going to leave the very top of the circle unerased and I need that because I want to create a shadow later on the nose that represents a divot. Now I'm going in with an H strength pencil and basically it's a really light pencil that comes in pencil sets if you don't have one you can just use a regular pencil but just be sure to go light so the reason i'm getting a light pencil is because it blends very well and i'm just going to start blending out and adding uh, graphite to the parts that are going to be the darkest areas of the nose 
So that'll include the sides, the divot, and right underneath where the shadow is casted from the nose. So now that we have a thin layer of graphite, I'm just going to go in with the blending tool and just blend everything out and make it look a lot less harsh and just give it some dimension that it needs to look realistic. And if you don't have a blending tool, I do have a video where I teach you how to make your own and I do show you alternatives that you probably have lying around the house right now and I'll link that down below. And now, because I'm a rule breaker, I'm going to blend the rest with my finger. And the reason I'm using my finger instead of my blending tool is because some of the lines were a little bit too harsh. And with your finger, you have more control. And it also applies much more pressure and has a bigger surface area. Um, there are other things you can use, but the finger, in my opinion, is just the easiest. Okay, so now on to the don't side. And for this, I'm not going to add any light lines. I'm not going to build anything up. I'm just going to add, what am I doing? I'm just going to add two heavy harsh lines. And sometimes I see mistakes of people doing that. Um, they don't blend out or diffuse the lines, but they do add the shadows to imply. So it just doesn't really work because it doesn't look realistic. You know, in real life, you don't have two dark lines straight down your nose. You have like the diffuse shadows from your cheeks to your nose if that makes sense. I always overcomplicate these things, I'm sorry. <laughs> so next up on the don't technique, I'm going to erase what would have been the divot on the nose. And the reason this is a don't technique is because it's basically taking away any 3D element that you had to your nose. And now, onto the do's. This is where the magic happens, people. I'm going to start reinforcing the darkest areas of the nose, such as the nostrils and the sides of the nostrils, with my same number two pencil. And the reason I'm doing this is because your nostrils are the darkest area of pretty much anyone's face. It's If you look at a picture, your nostrils are generally just pure black. And while you're doing this, it's also important to focus on the very bottom cartilage of the nose. So it's not just the nostrils that are dark, it's like the whole entire area underneath the nose is dark because it's a casted shadow. So now on to the don't side. I'm just getting my same H pencil, which is the light pencil, and I'm going to create nostrils with that light pencil. And the reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate how kind of weird it looks if your nostrils aren't drastically darker than the rest of the nose. So now that we have the nostrils and the side of the nostrils darkened, I'm just going to go ahead and diffuse them with my blending tool. I don't want to have like two harsh lines on the nostrils. I want to have them nice and blended out so it looks a little bit more natural. But be careful when you do this because the more you blend out, the more pigment you're pushing away from the original spot therefore making it lighter and thus resulting in you having to go through another time to like darken it out. And it was at this point that Ray realized it was uneven, so let me just fix that really quick. You OCD people must be going insane right now, I'm sorry. For this next clip of the video, I'm just going to be blending, and I'm sure you guys are sick of me saying blending and diffusing. So I'm just going to fast forward it, and you guys can get an idea of what I'm blending. We are pretty much at the final stages of the nose, so I'm just going to insert a picture of where I'm going to be highlighting. So on to the don't side, and for this technique, I'm just going to give it a very flat shadow. So the other side has dimension and highlight, and this one is just kind of like, meh, just kind of sad. So on to the final step, and that is adding the absolute darkest darks that I can. So I'm using a charcoal pencil. Any dark pencil will work for this. And I'm just going to reinforce the blacks that I already have. And the reason I want to add the darkest darks to this is to add an extra layer of dimension and this will give it the illusion that there's more shadows there. So congratulations we are done with the steps. 
But now I'm going to work on the piece. So just because there's no more steps to show you doesn't mean that I'm done with it. So I'm going to fast forward it to the end of the video and you guys can see again what I'm going to be blending and adding and taking away. There actually was one last technique and that was adding a filtrum to the nose on the don't side and basically I just made it really pin straight and very heavy and I didn't diffuse the shadows at all. So it looks kind of wonky and of course it doesn't look natural. So if you are going to add one, add it very lightly. All right, I'm just going to mess with the don't side a little bit more, but other than that, I am done with the comparisons. So as you can see, the don't side has very harsh lines, no dimension, light nostrils, and the do side has the exact opposite. You know, light is diffused, it has the shadows, it has the buildup. So whatever you are working on noses, just be careful of the shadows because it's really easy to mess them up. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I appreciate all your awesome support. Thank you guys for subscribing to me here on YouTube. If you're not already, I put out videos like this all the time. All kinds of tutorials, advice, drawing videos, all that good stuff. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's pretty much a whole entire archive of everything I've ever painted or drawn. I also do like updates and let you guys know when I'm filming and I answer questions and stuff like that. So yeah, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.